Hi everyone, welcome to my report on streamlining international supply. This is based off of Ford's press release and news report that they gave called The Importance of a Global Strategy. So Ford has a global strategy and in it its main concern was that it needs to remain competitive on the international stage and what this means is that there are many different countries with many different needs and so they need to develop a strategy which encompasses all these needs in a single vehicle or a single assembly line uh, or in a manner which is efficient. So the emerging countries, BRIC, Brazil, Russia, India, and China are the target markets now uh, as, US, as the United States has declined to the number two auto market in the world. Ford needs to start focusing its endeavors on creating a brand and creating products that appeal to more than just the United States consumers. Uh, current laws are restricted towards Ford's goals for export and sales. This is something that uh, they addressed recently, and this was uh, in Korea, in fact. They were only allowed to export one vehicle to Korea for every 42 or 43 vehicles that Korea exported to the U.S. And so sales and production are critical to the, United, or to the European Union, so procedures need to be based around this. Uh, what this means is that the European Union is uh, where a lot of Ford sales came from and so what they want to do, what they're trying to do is to base production off the current European Union practices and models and assembly lines that they had. So this is a list of the BRIC countries and how they are buying cars and where they are. So China is actually the number one car market in the world now uh, for 2011. Uh, so it took its place over the United States. Brazil currently at number four. Uh, Russia came in at I believe number five and India was on the list at uh, number seven. And so these are all uh, extremely big markets for the auto industry. We can see that Russia itself had 2.4 million vehicles sold and growth was 20 percent from 2010 so uh, these are big numbers that they're putting up definitely a lot bigger here than we have in the states and so here we're going to get to a video clip that we found about how Ford can remain competitive and how they have their first US based global platform bringing money back to the US and how they used a single platform and reduced cost. So this is uh, Derek Kuzak on their global strategy. If we think about our ability to, I think it's going to be 11 vehicles we're going to introduce over about a two-year period. That speed and that ability to satisfy that wide array of customers across the globe is what One Ford was all about, what our platform and top hat strategy was all about. And it's important to us to demonstrate that we frankly can't do it. So many companies talk about platforms and platform strategies, and I think frankly we're no longer talking about it. We're clearly delivering it to our customers and delivering it across the globe. Okay, and moving on to the next slide, this is how Ford has taken their successful European platform implemented across the globe. So kind of expanding on uh, what Derek had said, this is a news release about how they did it, why they did it, and what it meant. The 2012 Focus that is debuting in Paris is one of Ford's key vehicles driving the company forward. The Focus is Ford's first truly global vehicle. Ford will build 10 different vehicles, including crossovers, minivans, and even SUVs off the same platform. A total of 2 million units worldwide. We get lots of scale efficiencies, scale efficiencies around engineering costs, around how we facilitize our plants, the piece costs that we pay for the parts in our vehicle. So it's very, very exciting to see the one Ford strategy really come together with the launch of the new Focus. The Focus will be built in Wayne, and unlike most competing small cars, it will carry advanced features, the safest airbags, the most connectivity, and premium interiors. It was really important to us important to Michigan and frankly important to the U.S. to be able to demonstrate the ability to build small cars and great small cars and do that in the United 
States, in particular here in Michigan. This global platform is really the focus of Ford's future. And when you think about it, with it being built in Wayne, Michigan, it's the future of many of their auto workers as well. In Dearborn, I'm Mary Conway, Channel 7, Action News. Boy, a lot of people... All right, so by creating a global platform, Ford has reduced costs on many different models, including their focus. So uh, this is what the lady was speaking about and what the gentleman at Ford is speaking about and how they reduce their costs, not just about the focus, but the focus applies to the Fiesta and the Edge and the Escape and many other models that rely on that platform. And so as a result, Ford can now remain competitive in nearly every country, and most of this, in fact, Probably all of this reason is because of cost. So Ford was able to keep their costs down, much like how they started when they created the assembly line. They're doing the same thing by creating a platform line. So this has been a great strategy and has enabled them to compete across the globe and hopefully bring dollars back to the U.S. And if you feel free to look up any of this information, these are the references of where we got it and I think Ford is on their way to a bright future.